we'll quickly talk about the two main features that are in new chain management. The first one is the uh, drug engineering and assembly bomb effectivity cutback. And the second one is the effectivity cutback during the uh, unified, unified design bomb to an engineering bomb alignment. And then we will do a quick demo for each feature. So what is new in chain management? So with Active Works by 6.1, the tracking of an e-bomb and the assembly bomb effectively cutback help you to cut back the effectively range of the original part so that it does not overlap with the effectively range of the new or uh, replacing part. And then you can also see that the system cut the effectively cutback when you align the uh, unified design bomb to an engineering bomb. You may ask the question like, what is the effectivity cutback? So when you introduce a new component to replace an existing component in the bomb structure and change its effectivity range, that modification is called an uh, effectivity cutback. And the supported with action shown in the effectivity cutback are add or remove a level of a bomb structure, add, remove, or replacing a child or a sibling of the structure component and lastly, edit the property in the structure. So let's watch a quick demo for the uh, effectivity cutback. In here, I'm going to open a power strain e-bomb. Then I'm going to expand out the co uh, component below. And as you can see right here, all of the component inside assembly are uh, having the uh, element effectively already as of uh, April 1st, 2022 and up. Then I create a and submit the uh, new chain notice to check the uh, engineering bomb modification with the new effectivity cutback. And in the chain notice window, I submit the chain notice to the TCM release process workflow so that I can apply the release effectively for my new chain. Now I set the release effectivity for my chain as of uh, my first and up. And finally, I'm setting my chain as active to track the uh, engineering bomb modification with the uh, new effectivity cutback. And as you can see, uh, my active chain is on right now. Now I'm going to reopen the power strain e-bomb. In the bomb structure, I select the uh, output shaft component and select um, insert a new uh, level. Now we we'll give the uh, the new insert level a name. Then I click on the view tab and select uh, show the left line to show the uh, the chain in my uh, bump structure. And in the bump structure, uh, you can see the, uh, the the new added level with the new effectivity in green and the all effectivity in the red uh, strike through. Now I will uh, switch, uh, switch to the view with the summary and I'll open the uh, output shop uh, in the, uh, the chain notice window. In the chain notice window, you can see the newly added uh, level in green and uh, with the action show at edit new and the all effectively in the rest right through with the action show at like remove. Now I go back to the bump structure and I select the uh, alternator assembly and select remove a level. As you can see uh, in, the bump, in the bump structure, so the uh, remove level with the red uh, effectively, uh, with, with the rest uh, strike through on the respectability range. And now I select the DC, the press DC2 and open it in the, uh, the chain of this window. In the chain notice uh, summary, 
show the new effectivity of the removed level in green and the old effectivity in the uh, red dry shoe with action as the show as removed. And the child with the uh, the new effectivity in green with the action show as uh, added existing. Now go back to bomb. Let's add a new uh, child under the transmission assembly. So I will give it a name as new Axel. And then in the bomb structure, show the uh, newly added child with the new effectivity in green. And let's switch to the change summary. And in the change summary, we'll show the the new child with the new effectively in green and with the action so at edit new. Now I go back to bomb and let's remove an uh, I4 engine. In the bomb structure, we'll show the uh, remove component is completely stretched through. And then in the change summary show the uh, remove component with the new cutback and fit new cutback effectively in green and the all effectively in the red and with the action show as remove. Next, I go back to the, uh, the bomb and we will replace a, a component. Now I give a name like a uh, new drive gear. And in the bomb structure, you can see if we show the uh, replacing component with the new effectively in green, And now switch to the change summary, show the uh, replaced component with the new cutback effectively in green and the all effectively in the red strike through with the action so at the replace. And the replacing component with the new effectively in green and so at edit new to replace. And finally, in BOM, when I modify the property of a component, like a uh, quantity of the uh, input shaft, then in the bomb structure, show the uh, all property with the red uh, try through and the new property in the green. And now we, we will switch to the chain summary uh, tab. And it will show the all effectively in the red try through with an action show at property chain. Now, maybe it's a, a little too far to see on the video. So right here, we'll take a closer look at the each action again right here. So when the a user add the new level to the structure, then in the summary, the new effectivity will show in green. And with uh, show with the uh, and the action will show at edit new. And the new component with the new effectivity in green and with the action show as edit existing. And the old component, We'll show the uh, the new effectivity in green with the all effectively in the red try through and with the action show at remove. When user remove a level from the structure, then the remove level uh, with the new effectivity uh, will show in green and the all effectively will show in the red try through right here and with the uh, action show as uh, remove. And the child component we will uh, we'll have the new effectively in green and with the action show at the, at the existing. When a user add a child or sibling in, uh, into the structure, then the child or a sibling in the structure uh, will show in green and with the action show at the edit new. And uh, when user add an existing component using a uh, pallet option, then in the summary, we show the new component uh, with the effectivity in green and uh, the action show at edit existing. Next, when user remove a structure component, 
Then in the chain, re, uh, in the chain summary show the uh, removed component with the new cut back effectivity in green and the all effectivity in the red drive through and the action show as remove. And similarly to the remove, when, uh, when the user replace a structure component and the replay component uh, will come with a new effectivity in green and the all effectivity with the red strike through right here and with action as replace. And finally, when user like um, edit the property in the upper component, in the change summary will show the uh, the new effectivity in green and the all effectivity in the, the red strike through and the action show at property chain. Now we will talk about the second feature, the uh, track uh, effectivity cutback during the uh, unified unified design bomb to an uh, engineering bomb alignment. So when a unified design bomb is updated, you can analyze the impact of the design chain on the corresponding engineering bomb and perform the update to align the uh, bomb structure. When you align the uh, the E bomb to a unified uni united design bomb, the system will track the effectively get back in the chain summary. Now let's watch a quick video, uh, video for, for this feature. In here, I'm going to open the uh, unified design bomb with suspension. And as you can see, all of the component inside assembly are having a uh, release status right now. Then I'm copying this bomb and adding it as a relay structure inside my e bomb with suspension. So I will set the relay structure. Now I create and submit the new chain notice to align the uh, the design bomb to an engineering bomb. In the ch uh, chain notice window, I will submit the uh, the workflow and select the uh, TCM release process uh, template so that I can apply the release uh, effectivity. Now I set the release effectivity for my chain as uh, mark 31st and up. And finally, I'm setting my chain as active to apply the uh, effectively cutback. Now my active chain is on. I'm going to open the rear suspension e-bomb. And in the bomb structure, I will switch to the uh, content tab. Then I select the view, align. In the alignment window, I track and chop the component from the left to the right, to, and then generate an e-bomb. Then when I switch to the chain notice uh, window, the summary uh, in the summary chain will show the uh, new added component in green and the uh, new effectively range from mark 31st and up and with the action show at edit new. I now release the chain. And then I will create and submit a new chain notice to update the uh, unified bomb element to an e bomb. Next, I submit the chain notice to the TCM release pro process workflow one more time to apply the uh, release effectivity. And this time I will set my release effectivity as of May 1st and up. And finally, I'm setting my chain as active to track the uh, unified bomb modification with the effectivity cutback during the uh, 
alignment of operation. Now I open the uh, the bomb bridge suspension again and revise it to uh, revision B. In the bomb structure, I will remove the uh, component bridge suspension. And then I will add a new component name new rear suspension. Then I switch to the change summary window. And in here, I will click uh, update alignment command with the guided update as an option. Then in the alignment window, I see the uh, proposed update from the, uh, the system. Then I click update. Now I switch back to my change summary, which show like the uh, remove component with the new effect effectively in green. And it's, it, it will change my uh, effectively rent as well. So as you can see for March 31st, now it changed to May, uh, May 1st. And then, and then as you can see the revision, uh, I will cross, cross out with the rest try through and replace to the uh, revision B. And uh, this way, the system can also track the effectivity coupling in the in the bomb structure alignment as well. Now, here's some uh, notable takeaway for for the section today. Uh, with Active Workspace Super One, the tracking of an uh, E-BOM and assembly bomb effectively cut back help you to cut back the effectively range of the regional part. And then it helps you to keep track of the chain up to date in an easy and efficient way. And then you can also track the effectively cut back when you align the uh, unif unified design bomb to an engineering bomb. Thanks for checking out our channel. If you like what you saw, make sure to like and subscribe down below so you don't miss out on any new videos. Follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter for the latest engineering news and information. And to see all of our upcoming events, please visit our website at saratech.com events.